Hello, my name is Erin and I'm going to show you the proper way to use the FlexAway system, um, plus give you a few tips to make the first time around a little easier. Step 1. Place the lip guard, which is the foam strip you see in this photo, all the way up under your upper lip. If it slips out, push it back up. Soon your muscles will learn to hold it in place without help. The lip guard not only facilitates the muscle development, but also blocks the formation of whistle marks, which may already be present. The lip guard should not be used under the lower lip, however, as this would be counterproductive. Step 2. Hold the device as shown. Remember, the buttons with the gel cushion stay outside the mouth throughout the flexing. By the way, if the band breaks while you are flexing, you will feel absolutely nothing except a sudden slackness of the tension. Step 3. Slide the U-shaped shield along the outside of your molars all the way back inside your mouth with only the hinged front resting behind your front teeth. Do not hook the rubber band on your teeth. The shield will keep it properly placed. Step 4. With the rounded flaps behind the front teeth, bite down gently on the hinged bar between your jaws and place the bottoms comfortably in the corners of your lips with bottoms of buttons resting on the shield. When you flex, the buttons will glide over the surface of the shield. Since this is a critical step, we have mounted the device on a dental mold to show you exactly how it looks from the inside of your mouth. Step 5. Lift your eyebrows slightly and hold. Now begin flexing. While there is no single best motion for the inward push of the flexing process, we find that attempting to force the corners of your lips to the center is the most advantageous. Although people with existing whistle marks might best attempt to kiss the mirror, even though it's impossible. Each forward push constitutes one, so in the beginning we suggest you try for 50 or 60, eventually raising the count to 70 or 80 if you like. Pause every 10 pushes to give the face muscles and the rubber band time to retract before continuing to the next 10. Complete a minimum of two sessions a day, more if you want faster results, but always allow your face an hour or two rest in between. Step 6. Rinse the device off after use and let it air dry. Occasionally scrub it with your toothbrush after brushing your teeth. Step 7. We recommend that you change the band at least every three weeks to keep the tension strong. Here is a photo which shows the sequence of re-threading the device, starting with hooking the rubber band over the flap on top of the buttons. Be sure to cover the button bumps with the gelatin-like cushions to prevent any discomfort from pinching or chafing. Well, that should give you everything you need to know to get underway. You'll find this to be one of the most uplifting experiences in many years.